Hello everyone, today we continue our series of video tutorials and uh, uh, the topic of today's tutorial would be uh, how to retrieve uh, different parameters that are beyond traditional Hytron format. And in the uh, first part of the tutorial, the particular examples will be how to retrieve broadening by uh, hydrogen, and helium, CO2 and the water vapor. So we'll basically uh, so something that uh, one can encounter in the planetary atmosphere is uh, gases that are dominant in uh, different planetary environments, for instance, um, in uh, rocky planets like uh, Venus or Mars, uh, CO2 uh, can be a dominant gas, while different proportions of hydrogen and helium dominate the atmospheres of gas giants. And um, we uh, gradually add in uh, these parameters uh, to hydrogen, and uh, uh, we already have it for several molecules, but uh, many more are to come. So let me show you how to retrieve uh, these values. So we have to go to the line by line section of the database. And uh, let's say we're interested in an atmosphere of Venus like planet. And let's select uh, SO2 and HCl molecules, both of which are uh, observed in a Venusian atmosphere. Uh, we can uh, select all isotopologues for this one. So let's uh, select a region where they do the spectra of these two molecules overlap. So let's say 2500 to 2600 wave numbers. So now uh, as I mentioned in a previous tutorial, the default format would be traditional .par format. However, if you select that format, you would not be able to retrieve uh, the broadening parameters uh, that I just mentioned. So you have to create a custom output format. So for that, you have to click on this uh, green button. And the way you create uh, the new format is basically by dragging the parameters uh, from this field uh, of the available parameters to the new output format. So you can either double click or drag. So uh, we create a new output format by dragging or double clicking the available parameters to the new output format field. Uh, we'll need molecular ID, isotopolog ID, just to distinguish between molecules and the isotopologues of SO2 and HCL that we selected. Uh, just for reference point, we can uh, select the wave number. And for comparison, we can select gamma air. So at the moment, Hytron hasn't traditionally had uh, broadening by air for every line in Hytron. And the same is for gamma self, so self broadening. And we do have uh, temperature dependence of the air broadening and the air broadened uh, shift. So now uh, we do have the same parameters uh, for broadening by CO2, hydrogen, helium, and water for many gases. So here I'll show you. Uh, so if we are expecting Venusian uh, like planet, so we will select uh, gamma CO2 uh, as well uh, for comparison. And uh, we can throw in the gamma helium in there as well, just to uh, show you the relative uh, values. Now you can select if you want to display uh, error codes and reference codes. And uh, in fact, if you want to know the reference where the data originate from. And uh, we'll have to name the output format. So I'll call it tutorial three. And uh, you can add the description of your liking. Uh, now there, there are different ways of uh, saving the new output format. Uh, you can do even HDF5 output, or you can uh, use different uh, field separators. You can uh, uh, have uh, Windows or Linux uh, line endings, uh, and so forth. So you can also, uh, if you do the fixed width format, you can select the actually Fortran-like uh, uh, format of your output. Now, uh, I, I'll choose this fixed width because I'm going to show you 
the uh, actual file they retrieve, uh, so it will be easier for the human eye to see uh, different parameters and just for our convenience out of the output header, uh, which uh, one may also find convenient to uh, track what have been retrieved. So now uh, we do have this tutorial of three output format selected. There is a reminder for you what uh, you have selected in this output format. And uh, let's go to data search. So this is an uh, overview so you can see that uh, we have uh, uh, SO2 and uh, uh, lines of HCL in here. Now, to see what we have selected, you can uh, click here or you can save to the computer and uh, there are headers, so this is a molecule ID as a topolog ID, a wave number, and this is gamma air, gamma CO2, and gamma helium. So you can see that these values are quite different from uh, one another, and in fact, the broadening associated by collisions with uh, uh, ambient CO2 gas is larger than that for uh, air uh, and especially uh, helium. Now uh, we can take a look at the, uh, the, the reference code. So we have this global reference IDs. So now, uh, and these are uncertainty codes from the uncertainty mappings that uh, I have shown in the first tutorial. So now uh, we can take a look about where these reference uh, originate from. So if I go back to our search, so this is HTML table of all the references. And again, uh, just a reminder that these are only the references to the parameters that you have selected. And uh, uh, this is basically a mapping to those numbers you saw in an output file. And of course you can access the original references quite easily. And um, we will be talking about it in a future tutorials but it is worth noting that the Hydron application program interface software enables you to calculate absorption coefficients, absorption cross-sections with a mixture of ambient gases. So you would be able to create different proportions uh, of hydrogen to helium or CO2 to hydrogen, helium uh, or air. So these uh, are very useful uh, and uh, it is quite possible to do it with uh, Hydron application programming interface. And uh, in a second half of this tutorial, uh, we will talk about how to uh, retrieve uh, non boiked line shapes uh, from uh, Hydron Online. Oh.